Hey Pisces, welcome to a collective reading. My name is Petra and I'm here to pull some cards and offer a reflection for Pisces, mutable water. The moon is currently passing through Pisces, so I'm checking in with that entire section of the sky, the Pisces section. We're going to see what the vibes are, and I'm providing a reflection for you to use for healing, for transformation. So I will look at what's in the heart, what's at the heart of the matter first, and then I'm going to look at your clearest pathway forward, how you can create movement, how you can, um, what's your most powerful move. So this is a reading for those who are healing. Um, whatever your relationship to Pisces, welcome. Uh, this is a collective reading. I am offering personal readings, so I'll put the link for that in the description. Check me out there. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for all your support, Pisces. Let's see, what's the vibration for Pisces? How is mutable water feeling? What's going on in the heart? What's at the heart of the matter? for Pisces. Pisces, what's in your heart? What's at the heart of the matter? What's going on under the surface? Hmm. So you're moving forward. You're moving forward and I'm, I just got caught up by this, um, these two numbers in the justice and the nine of cups. See how it's both like an XI and an XI, but they're in reverse. It's like, you're not seeing what you, you're not receiving what you feel you deserve. You're not seeing the reflection that you want to see. Um, so you're like moving on, moving on past, <laughs> keeping it moving. <laughs> you're, you're focused on some sort of goal. You're moving towards a goal and you're like, I'm not willing to stop for anything that doesn't move me forward. I don't have time, I don't have patience, I don't have the space in my life for anything that isn't working with me in this goal, supporting my goal, supporting the direction I'm trying to go. This is, this is interesting. I like it, Pisces. There's a determination to not be distracted or swayed from where you're trying to get to. This Eight of Wands is feels really strong for you, for Pisces. It's a very fiery, Sagittarius energy. Um, you know, think of like an arrow being launched towards its target. It's a, a force approaching its goal. It's it's aiming in a direction and putting all your direct your motion um incoming right and this yeah this justice and this nine of cups there's this this like i'm not i'm not gonna give myself to anything that doesn't reflect me that doesn't reflect my value 
I actually think Sagittarius kind of had a similar, there was something about Sagittarius not settling and knowing their worth. That might, there's some kind of parallel here. And both, both Pisces and Sagittarius are um, associated with Jupiter. And Jupiter is the planet of expansion and abundance and wealth. So I think Jupiter is retrograde in Pisces right now. So there's like a, yeah, yeah. It's like Jupiter is going back over the places that, you know, you've sold yourself short, right? That you've take, accepted less than you deserved. And you're like, I'm, I'm moving on past that. I don't have time for that. I have somewhere to be. I have something I'm trying to do. Jupiter is like, maybe showing you the places really clearly, like you might be seeing really clearly or just feeling really driven and it's showing you all the places like, wow, why was I, you know, why was I giving this person so much of my time or why was I giving this job or this contract um, so much of my time I gotta I gotta get out of here I gotta you know keep it moving there's a sense of um, a little bit even frustrated or like even a little annoyed at yourself for what you may have accepted in the past right um why is Pisces feeling this way <laughs> Yikes. That's why Pisces is getting the fuck out of... Out of. <laughs> That's why Pisces is moving fast. The Five of Swords. With the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. You were absolutely being cheated. like purposefully, like somebody was stealing from you, whether it's your time, your, you know, your loyalty, like keeping you on a hook, leading you on, believing, you know, making you think you're in a relationship when they're really not, right, type of thing, like it, or it could just straight up be money. This could be somebody just straight up stealing from you. <laughs> it's, ugh. Ugh. That's, Gross. Thief. And a cheat. Like somebody stealing right from under your nose. Not This is not a thief who comes and, you know, breaks into a, your house and like randomly takes all your stuff. Like, no, this is somebody who weasels their way into your life so they can drain you. Lead you on. Waste your time, waste your precious resources, um, purposefully pay you less than you're worth. Like if this is a, an employer um, or a job situation or a client, it's like somebody purposefully paying you less or offering you less or putting you in a situation where you're waiting for them to pay you, right? Oh, I'll, I'm good for it. They were never good for it, right? <laughs> okay, this was purposeful. They told you that they were gonna pay you back or they made it seem like they were interested in a commitment or they made it seem like, right? It was purposeful. They were purposefully giving you less than you deserved so that you would wait around, waiting to, because they had made it seem like they were gonna make good on that, right? No, it was purposeful. This was purposefully in order to take from you without having to give back <laughs> so Pisces good for you right that that's you're like I've had it <laughs> you absolutely had it with this you're like I am so not here there there's like a, a fire lit under your ass like get the fuck up out of here don't you know, keep it moving. I see you like walking past people. Like I don't have time for that. Like power walking past people that are like trying to play off your emotions, pull you in, you know, get you 
you're like, nope, nope, nope. I, I don't, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm too focused. I'm too busy. I'm moving too fast. I don't have time for that. Yeah, playing on your emotions. Playing on your emotions. Playing on your loyalty so they can get access to that, to your value, to your precious resources. Strength in reverse with the Six of Cups and the Empress. The strength in reverse right under the seven of swords is like they know that this is people who know your weakness, who know that you have um, some kind of you know loyalty or history or some sense of like goodwill between you. Like they know that you assume the best in people or that they that you would assume the best in them because you know them or you grew up with them or their family, right? This is, it, it's like, it's like getting you to put your guard down or knowing that your guard is down because you care a lot or you give them the benefit of the doubt and, they, and that's their opening to get to your resources. This could just be like energetic resources, right? If it's not money and time, it really could just be like your vibe, you know? You have a, you make people feel good, right? Or there's some kind of, There's something you have that's valuable, right? And it's, you're realizing or you are on this new path trying to push past all these people or all these employers or all the, the, the this place that you're in or something that's trying to like get you to give yourself over for less than you're des deserving of and you're like i'm out of here i deserve better i deserve more you're the empress here oh god yikes wow okay now we have <laughs> damn pisces now we have the emperor just as i said you're the empress now this feels like the the person or people or job or whatever this emperor is is this person this entity that is trying to Trying to keep you blind to your own value so they can continue to have access to it. Wow. This could definitely be, you know, some, a marriage. The Empress and the Emperor, those are counterparts, right? And it's here with justice. And this could definitely be you realizing you need to hightail it, <laughs> hightail it the fuck out of a, a long-term relationship. This emperor is manipulative as fuck. I feel like I've done this reading for you before, Pisces. I feel like I did this a couple, like a couple months ago or last month. And you know what? I see you leaving, right? I see you leaving. 
this job or this marriage or this contract or this relationship, whatever this tie is, I see you breaking it, like launching yourself forward. You're, you're pushing past this huge resistance. There's a lot of built up resistance around this empress. It's like you're trying to break her out of a very heavy obligations. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot that this, there's a lot of leverage that this empress, that this emperor has over the empress. A lot of emotional leverage, a lot of financial leverage, like, this empress might be dependent on this emperor, you know, like, you may feel like this job or this husband or this wife or whoever this is that you're trying to get away from, like, that, it's like you're aware of how much leverage they have over you. So you're really sort of mustering up this this fight, this push. Like, I have to believe in myself. Like, no, like, no, I don't have any time for that. Yeah, I think you're, you're, you're like aware that their mind games or that the um, manipulation or like, What's that word when when you're um it's like they're keeping you trying to keep you dependent, trying to keep you trying to use every avenue like emo your emotions and your finances to keep you obligated. That's the word. It's like they know they know you can just walk away. So they're trying to use everything available to them to keep you from taking action. And I think you know this. It's like you know this, but you know that it still kind of works on you. Or that it that they have a lot of leverage somehow. Hmm. At least you're moving away from it. It's like you know that they can that they can pull you back in. So you're trying to move so quickly that they don't have a chance to rope you back in with all this manipulation. With all this leverage. Right, you see how on either side of the Empress, right, is this two pentacles in reverse and this eight of swords. That's like how they were keeping you suspended before, right? They were able to keep you hoping for more, hoping and waiting, keeping you on that, like always promising more than they're giving, right? And then they're able to, to keep you blind to your own worth. By like not validating you, by obscuring the truth. And it's a it's like a threefold manipulation here. It's keeping you on, on the hook, it's keeping you blind to your own value, dependent on them, looking up to them, you know, getting your validation from them. And it's like a withholding, right? Withholding so that you have to come to them for your own like self-image, self-esteem. And then it's this emotional obligation. It's like, oh, we've been through so much together. Or, oh, you owe me. Or, you know, you... 
yeah, it's mental, emotional, and material. And it's like, you see right, you see through it, you see past it. You're just like, I know I have to just move so quickly that they don't have a chance to try any of these things on me. Okay. Let me see. What is Claire's pathway forward for Pisces? Mutable water. Mutable water. Clears pathway forward for mutable water. <laughs> huh, don't wait. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Definitely don't hesitate. Your... You see how this nine is in reverse here? This nine of cups. Now here's the ten of cups. With the hangman in reverse and the magician in reverse. It's like, don't wait on making your own destiny. Like... That sounds hella cheesy or hella cliche, but like, and here's that two, that two of pentacles upright. Don't wait, don't hesitate, right? Don't, um, don't stand still. This is your, in your hands. This 10, like eight, nine, 10. <laughs> Keep, you know, keep moving forward. This is, this is, keep your vision on that end goal. Like, you know you're a nine. You know you're worth the 10. Keep moving towards that 10. Keep making it happen. Um, This is the goal, right? Eight, nine, 10. This is what you're aiming towards. This feels like having a laser focus on this goal. That's how you move forward, right? You don't even, you don't even see this. Don't even look at this. Just this rainbow is, is feeling like the pathway forward, right? Like just follow that vision. Follow what you know to be true about what you deserve, what you, what you offer, right? If you're the nine, if you yourself have reached this kind of emotional fulfillment and wholeness in yourself, you deserve, that's when you deserve the 10. That The 10 is actually when two nines come together, right? You, that's when a nine finds that ace, right? It's like the, the ace of cups makes it a 10. It This is the target, right? If you're launching your arrow, this is the target. Stay laser focused on that target. Don't get distracted. Um, interesting. Nine of swords. The king of cups and the star another nine this feels like it's talking about like emotional maturity um like healing healing your 
the places in you that allowed you to be manipulated in the first place. Like, like, yeah, this emperor has all this leverage and all these tactics on this empress. Um, but ultimately, and this, this is what, you know, narcissistic behavior can do, right? That it's, it, it identifies the places that people are looking for something to complete themselves, right? That people are looking for, if you have a really great need and really great unfulfilled need, that's how you get manipulated is people give you what you're looking for. Um, and so here, this, this feels like really taking responsibility for the places that you were so sort of like unfulfilled and blind that allowed you to be manipulated at all, right? And actually really taking responsibility for healing those places, um, for healing that, those original wounds that made you susceptible to getting bound up in somebody's like web of <laughs> lies and deceit and this yeah this is some real like vamp vampiric narcissistic you know draining someone of their pure good heart draining someone of their precious resources draining someone of their value um keeping someone bound up so that you can take from them without giving right so this is this is like a double a double, you know, pathway forward. It's like your pathway forward is to keep your sights set on your goal. Don't hesitate, take the power into your hands um and be focused on that target. Right? The the stronger and faster you move towards the target, the less possibility or opening there is to to even give this the space to pull you in and you also have to address the places like heal the places that allow you to be pulled in keep your focus you know forward and take this emotional responsibility, this emotional maturity to say, okay, yeah, these people fucked me over and did me wrong and stole from me or, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, this, sure, there's always a, something you can f figure out. What was I responsible for? How did I get myself into this situation and how can I heal that? What was it that I was looking for? What was it that had me incomplete? Right? Here's these two nines. It's like, what was it that was making you incomplete? That allowed this energy to come in and take advantage of you? You can acknowledge, it's like, it feels like acknowledging both sides of that coin, right? Like, yes, you can be fully victimized and fully, you know, like, both can be true. You can be taken advantage of by someone and it is their fault and it, you should be able to just be innocent and open and, right? But... The opposite is also true that you have res you ha do have a responsibility to yourself, right? And there is there was some even if it's not like your fault, it's your fault to heal from it, right? It's it's your it's your responsibility to look at the ways that you were not there for yourself, right? That you allowed this or what was it in you that was unresolved that opened the door for this? What was it that gave them the leverage? Mentally, right? It's like... But 
Okay, we're gonna look, we're gonna get the power stance for Pisces. What is Pisces power stance as they move down this pathway? What is the power stance for Pisces moving down this pathway? Earth. Earth and Saturn is at the bottom. Be really practical, right? Be really grounded. Be really aware of like where you stand. Um, the consequences of your actions. Like be really responsible to yourself. It's kind of like encouraging. I feel like it, it feel like it's encouraging you to to be mature about this. Like, yes, keep your eyes set on, this, on the, this goal, right? But don't just rush forward, right, without a plan, without an understanding of um, the consequences and the situation around you, the people around you. Like, there's something here really, like, just mature, really grown. Like, just be really grown. Don't be in a rush. <laughs> like, that's the the negative of the, the eight of wands can be, you know, you could be moving so fast that you're not paying attention, that you're not grounded, that you're not taking care of your body, taking care of your physical needs, um, your practical needs, your material sustenance, like, you know, you can't just like walk out of a job without thinking about who is that going to affect? Um, you know, where's my next, where's my next meal coming from? Where's my next paycheck coming from? Can I, how far can I live on my savings? Like, this is very like practical implications of running away, escaping, um, moving out of this situation. Okay, power stance for Pisces. Power stance for Pisces. Ooh. The peacock. Interesting. Associated this with Leo. Display, express, show off and show out, impress, and perform. I'm thinking of how much this feels like the Empress, right? Th think about the similarity between the word impress and empress. Um, it has this royal, regal, um, I'm just fabulous. I'm just sitting in my fabulousness and it's on full display and I'm just in it and there's no there's no denying it it's it's like radiating who you are right from the inside out interesting earth and the peacock okay we're gonna get a rune a rune stone for Pisces power stance, Pisces power stance. Ooh, interesting. Pair throw, the darkness, initiation, change, the, the unknown. This is an interesting combination of, of concepts. It's like, on the one hand, 
very fabulous. You know, this peacock feels kind of like this, you know, know your worth and be unapologetic about what you deserve and who, you know, know who the fuck you are and be full, fully in that, right? And aim high and know, you know, it's, it's very like Leo, you know, <laughs> extravagant and bright and this bright future. And then this, this feels like that, um, more Sagittarius type of fire that's like more mysterious and going, you know, kind of things winding down at the end of the night and like being kind of more focused on, you know, the great, like exploring the great possibilities and what could be out there and Like having a really open mind, right? Going through, it, it also symbolizes initiation, like trial by fire, like, you know, going through things and coming out the other side bigger and, and better and, you know, a point of no return where you become somebody different in a new phase of life, right? And then the earth, it's just so... Like the body, like the physical body and the community and the people around you and your environment. It's like walking, you know, walking through. Yeah, it has this, it, this kind of more heavy, dark, uh, you know, take responsibility right? Grow up. Um, it's these two sort of opposite concepts. It's this like bright self, bright sense of self, whole sense of self, and a very keen awareness of your responsibilities, you know, how you need to change and heal the parts of you that are dark, that are unresolved, that are holding you back, right? To kind of heal them. There's this like, like both healed and in need of healing. If that makes any sense. It's, it, <laughs> I don't know how, I, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's like, um, walk towards that healed self, like keep your eyes set on it, walk in that, in your, as, as much as you can and acknowledge the places you still need to change, right? This, the darkness, the, the initiations, the things that are in you that you need to step up and resolve. Like both of these things are true at the same time. Pisces is good at duality, so this should be fine for you. <laughs> to do this, right? To be like, yeah, look at me, I'm fabulous. I'm I'm me. I'm all this. I know my worth. I'm whole. I'm and also be like, yeah, I'm going to step up and take responsibility and change and heal and and make myself whole. And it's like both do both of those things. It's not one or the other. You know, don't, don't get stuck in one or stuck in the other, right? It's like just because you have, you still have things to go through. You still have initiation or changes or things that you want to heal or karma that needs to be addressed. Like, 
because there are things you need to take responsibility for doesn't mean that you're not in a lot of ways already whole and that you do know your worth and that you are you can just show off and show out and and be your whole self it's kind of like really asking you to bring those two polarities together this bright self and this healing dark self Bring them together, unify them. Be able to do both, right? That's what I'm saying. They're the Pisces. You, it's the fish that goes this way and then goes that way. And if you ever look at how fishes swim forward, that's how they do it. They have this back and forth movement. Like, that's how they generate forward movement. So I think a key thing for Pisces is to understand that about yourself and not be like, oh, I'm, I know my worth and I'm healed and I'm all this, so I don't need to, to do anything else, right? It's like, the fi that's like a fish trying to go in one direction and not come back the other way. It's gonna, it's gonna go off the rails, right? Or in the opposite way, it could be like, oh my God, I have all this darkness in me and I have to heal so much and there's still like, I'm still so you know, not myself or held back, like, you know, I'll, ne like, I'll never have access to this, right? There's this, there's this need to really use this going back and forth between extremes to move yourself forward. To be able to be in the dark and the light, right? To accept consequences and take responsibility and to just be fabulous and not give a shit what people think and you know what I mean like it's very um intertwined opposites so that you can move forward don't get stuck in either one of these keep keep doing both allow yourself to do both allow yourself to Yeah, it's like if you just try to power past this, you won't really address the, the darkness in you. Like you won't really address, if you just try to be like, I'm better than this and, right? You have to balance that knowledge that you're better than this with the, the responsibility for the places that you totally signed up for it and participated in it and, you know, fed into that dynamic and you weren't better than it you were you were in it right um it's kind of like reconciling those two opposing truths so that you can move forward okay pisces i think that's it for today is there anything else that needs to be said here? Nope. That's it. I hope this reading was helpful. Um, I hope this reading finds you well and moving through your pathway with some ease, with some joy, and of course, as always, with, with healing. That's what I'm here to do on this channel is support and offer tools to support your healing process. So thank you for joining me, Pisces, and I'll see you next time.